Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can implement a button to send your event or calendar data into iCalendar, Outlook and or Google Calendar. So the screen you see here is the ManyChat App Store. You can find this app and you install or click on this install app button which will take you to a page like the next one. This is the next page. You can see there's a button at the bottom of this screen which has the word install on it. And when you click install, it will take you to a screen like this. You can just select one of the pages that you manage and when you have done so, you will go to a installation page which is similar to this one and then you click on go to app settings which will take you to a page to enter some of the information that you'll need to make this app work for example your license key or if you don't have one or have a very limited amount of appointments during the month you can use this free code that you will see right there. Click save and your app is installed. Then you can go to your flow builder. In this little flow I'm going to show you how you can use the calendar and iCal feature. Of course you can ask your user a date to set or uh, give a coupon or join an event, anything you like. Then they click register for event or whatever it is that you are offering them. And what I usually do is I clean out the previous URLs. You don't have to do it. It will override it, but I just uh, do that personally. I like that. So, and then there is this action. You can go to the action menu, click actions, click add an action here on action, scroll somewhere down to the bottom, click iCalendar link generator, select action, click the top one. This one is just for admins to check their usage if they are on a free account. You don't have to use that. And this will take you to the setup screen. How to set up an action, it's a little information to tell you what you have to fill in in this section. I will fill it out right now. Hold on. So here it is with the information all filled in. I just created an event on November 18th and I did that using the bot field for date and time. I always use a bot field for this so I am sure I will have the date format uh, right. Uh, you can of course use any other custom user field with a date time value or if you are sure you are picking the right time yourself you can of course do this manually by obeying to this format but i highly suggest you just use a date time picker for this uh, back to the first step you create your event title um, then you create an event description. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Then the bot field date time. I just explained that. And then the duration of the event. If you leave this empty, it will create um, a one day event. So for the entire day, otherwise you just enter the amount of minutes here. So we just created a four hour event. So four hours equals 240 minutes. The location, this is just my hometown. You can enter any location there, or maybe it's uh, even online, so you just put your URL down there. You can also select the URL for the event, which is used in the iCal and Outlook calendar. I don't think it's being used in Google Calendar, but of course you can uh, add it here anyway. Then the response mapping. This is pretty important. It says optional, but it's not optional you have to create these um, 
well, these custom user fields because they are your um, button URLs. This is actually where the uh, calendar URLs are stored. So this is not optional. You have to create this and I suggest making it uh, descriptive like these ones so you know what they actually are for. Then you click save, go to the next step, which is the step with these two buttons. I will show you what I meant by the URL. As you can see, I tell URL, how do you get that? You click these brackets, you just click I tell, look for it, and you click done. And you do the same for the Google Calendar. And there you go. Click done again. And then your flow is actually ready. At least this short flow. Maybe you have a huge template. That's of course entirely up to you. This is just for demo purposes. And it's very clean this way. So I will show you how this works in the real world with a sample. So here you see my screen. I will click preview. So here's the start of the conversation. I will click register for event, obviously, which will take me to this section. And I will click Okay, enter it into my Google Calendar, which will open Google Calendar with the information about the event. I will zoom in a little bit. So there you go. You can see it's for November 18th from 9 a.m. till 2 or 1 p.m., which of course is four hours, which we entered in the action menu. Let's have a look at that again. And there we go, 240 minutes, which is all correct. And we can go to the description. You can see that here, which is the same as what we entered on this screen right here. So that's how easy this is. You can just click save on top of the window which is right here. And when you do so, it will be saved into your calendar. I can al also show you how it will look when I click iCal or Outlook. What this does is it will actually, at least in, in my Android phone, it will download the ICS file and then I can click on that one and it will install it in my other calendar. So I will show you what that looks like. Here it is. I have already downloaded it once, so I, it will ask me if I want to download it again. And I will just say download. And I will open it up. And as you can see, there is all the information again. I can add it to my calendar. And now the event is added into my system. So that's how the iCal and Outlook um, card works. And when you click this button, it should take me back into my chat. So there we go. We also used this delay to thank the person for their event and here you can see that bot field again which also shows right here this concludes the manual for the iCalendar events i hope you enjoy it if you have any suggestions or questions please let me know